Hey guys, what's going on? It's great to see you here again. It's been a while since our last video as we've been rather busy lately. And that's because of this bad boy right here, the brand new MC3 Mini Controller. Let's dive right in and see what it has to offer. The MC3 is our latest offering and it completes the trinity of MC MIDI controllers. You guys are definitely no strangers to the MC6 and MC8, and now we have the MC3 that takes compactness to a whole new level. So let's start off with the dimensions of the MC3. The MC3 measures just 4.8 by 2.8 by 1.9 inches for all you pedal board squeezes. It takes up less space than your mobile phone, which is an amazing feat for the amount of features it packs. Taking a look at its front face, you can see that it has three soft touch foot switches and a gorgeous LCD display so that you can name your presets and easily navigate through the controller. Moving on to the rear panel, you'll be able to see the I.O. connections that make the MC3 a complete package. Let's go from left to right starting with these TRS MIDI outputs. The MC3 has four 3.5mm or 1 8 inch TRS MIDI outputs. These allow you to connect directly to pedals that have TRS MIDI inputs without the need for a MIDI box. This keeps your setup clean and compact and saves you from needing to spend more money on a separate MIDI box. If your effect pedals have quarter inch MIDI inputs like Chase Bliss, Maris, Empress Jackson and some Strymon pedals do, all you need is a simple and commonly found 3.5mm to quarter inch adapter like this. Just slip the adapter onto any 3.5mm stereo TRS cable and you're good to go. By default, these outputs comply with the TRS MIDI standard and send MIDI via the tip. Now we also understand that some companies have deviated from the MIDI standard and receive MIDI via the ring instead of the tip. That is why we've made MIDI outputs 3 and 4 on the MC3 switchable and able to send MIDI via the tip or ring depending on what you need. This is done using the internal dip switches located on the inside of the MC3. Next on the rear, we have the expression port. This not only allows you to connect an expression pedal for smooth, continuous control, but also allows you to add external aux switches to control presets and various controller functions. Check out our videos on how to use the expression pedals and external switches with our MIDI controllers if you haven't already. Video links in the description down below. Moving right along, we have a USB Type B port. This allows you to update the MC3. We love listening to our customers and regularly release firmware updates with new features and improvements. And just like its bigger brothers, the MC3 offers its users all the benefits and features of the Morningstar editor, which is accessed by connecting the MC3 to your computer via USB. Besides that, the USB port also sends and receives MIDI and is USB class compliant, which means that no drivers are required. MIDI over USB allows the MC3 to control your favorite music software. This includes DAWs like Ableton and Logic, plugins like those from Neural DSP, and also your iOS applications like BIOS Amp, BIOS FX, OnSong, and any other application that supports MIDI. Then we have the 9V DC input. Nothing much to say here except you'll need a minimum current supply of 80mA for the MC3. And finally, we have the standard 5-pin MIDI output, which allows you to connect to 5-pin MIDI devices. Take note that MIDI data is sent simultaneously through both the TRS and 5-pin outputs. This makes the MC3 super flexible and capable. And that's it for the physical hardware of the MC3. Now let's move on to navigating through the MC3. Although the MC3 has only three switches, we've designed it to be as user-friendly and intuitive as possible. We've done this by redesigning the menu systems found on the MC6 and MC8, optimizing for the smaller display and fewer switches available on the MC3. Let's start with banking up and down. With a limited number of switches, we knew that different users would have different preferences on how to navigate through banks. This is why the MC3 offers various methods on how to bank up and down. Let's take you through them right now. The first method is the default and most straightforward method. This just involves simultaneously pressing switches B and C to bank up and switches A and C to bank down. So if it were on the ground, you'd be banking with your foot like this. And we've made sure that the bank name and number show up on the left when you bank up and show up on the right when you bank down. The second method of banking up and down is to assign one of your switches to put the MC3 in bank change mode. In this example, I programmed a long press on switch C to put the MC3 into bank change mode. And I've copied and pasted this across all banks. So when I hold down switch C, the MC3 goes into bank change mode and I can use switches A and B to scroll through banks. Holding down the switches allows me to continuously scroll through as well. And once I've reached my desired bank, pressing C will exit bank change mode. 
For the third and final method of changing banks, I programmed a long press scroll action to switch A that banks down on the MC3 and the same to bank up on switch B. I've copied and pasted these presets and pasted them to all banks as well. So now when I hold down A for 600 milliseconds, the MC3 will start to bank down. And if I continue holding it down, it will continuously bank down. The same goes for switch B for banking up. But as you can see, if I just press the switch and I don't hold it down, it doesn't bank up or down, it just triggers presets A and B. And that's it for navigating banks, now let's go on and see how we can program a preset on the MC3. As you know, all Morningstar MIDI controllers come with a super powerful and easy to use editor, but you can also program presets on the MC3 itself if you wish. Here's how. First, press the switch that you want to edit, then press all three switches at once. This will take you into the main menu. In the main menu, you will find the preset switch you last pressed, expression pedal settings, your current bank settings, and the global configuration menu. But what we want to do now is press preset A to edit it. In the next menu, you will find edit message, which is what we want to select to program this preset. So let's press that. After which, you will find the list of 16 MIDI messages you can send with a single preset. To scroll through these messages, press switches B plus C together to scroll up, and switches A and C to scroll down. Once you're at the message you want to edit, just press next, choose which action you want to use to trigger this message, what type of message you want it to be, and then enter your desired parameters. Lastly, decide which channel you want the message to be sent through, and then hit save. That's it! Of course you can name your presets on the controller itself as well, but for naming, we'd highly recommend using the editor as it's much easier to input the text that you want. Alright, and with that we've come to the end of today's product walkthrough. Hopefully this has given you a better idea and understanding of the MC3 and its basic operations. It truly is a fully featured MIDI controller in a pint-sized package and will feel right at home on any pedal board, large or small. We are super excited for you to get your hands on these and can't wait to see how you use it on your musical journey. Thanks for watching. If you like what you've seen here today, we'd appreciate it if you liked and subscribed, and we'll see you in the next video.